cusp of another indicated turn. And yes, we've ended up where we finished off last time. 
We found our beloved chimney. It's listed in the Holy Writ as an actual abandoned cabin, but I think they must have hauled away the parts a few years ago to reduce hazard liabilities. But the chimney column still stands. There it is. <laughs> we figured it out. And this heads all the way down to Duxbury. It goes through the sections of Knobscott and Framingham that I visited before. And now we've completed this particular part and it will be stitched into the system when I get around to it. Some old chimney, probably from a bygone Boy Scout winter lodge, who knows. Here I am deep in the Knobscot complex, presumably in Sudbury, and working on finishing Framingham today. That heads north all the way to Newberry and Plum Island eventually, more nearly to Route 20 in Sudbury. And this heads south eventually to Duxbury. And this might be Tippling Rock that they're describing, but I don't really know. I'm just trying to be able to scratch framing him off the to-do list. <laughs> I believe this is one of the spots where there's a designated view but it's overcast today with a mild amount of drizzle. Nonetheless, as far as I'm concerned, any day is a good day to be in the woods if there isn't a torrential downpour at, at, at hand. Up and turn is indicated up ahead. This is one of those Framingham area triples. We run into these. They don't seem to be anywhere else. See, it's somewhat confusing. The old Framingham triple. And we head this way. Fortunately, the confusion of the triple is offset by the ready presence of added blaze. 